When we build the new building right here, we're going to have a media room. And uh, so it's going to have air conditioning, you're going to have seats, you're going to have a little media studio. Don't tease us, Coach. Us Don't tease us. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> we're going to hold you to that. It's coming. Don't, Don't spoil us. It's coming. I've heard it. Oh, man. Well, speak of the groundbreaking? Oh, speak of the groundbreaking. Well, it'll Absolutely. Be four times the crowd, that's for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So Wednesday. Any, any injuries to speak of, and will Omari be able to suit up Saturday? No, no injuries. Uh, everybody's in, in, a, in a good spot, uh, and Omari's look good. You know, so I'm hopeful. What has been – why has he been able to come back so fast? DNA, I guess. Uh, work ethic and DNA. You know, I mean, he's just uh, – he's just grinding. And, uh, you know, it's, he's, he's surprised all of us. Uh, but he's really just – Unbelievably uh, motivated, I think, and driven, and has has just put the work in, you know, above and beyond guy. And then, and then again, it's just his DNA, I guess, his body. You know, everybody responds differently. Uh, but uh, I mean, we've had guys come back quicker than him. You remember when Chad Kelly and I believe it was Sam Cooper? Yeah. They came. They got hurt on the last day. They got hurt on the spring game. Mm-hmm. They played against Georgia, uh, which was amazing. You know, but. Uh, uh, so it's been a little bit longer than that, about a, probably a month longer. But he's he's just he's just worked hard and his body's responded. That's all I can say. He's done a great job. He looks uh, he looks good. He's, he's he's really close. Coach Saturday is the Ipte day. Uh, how important is Ipte to to the success of this program? I mean, we're not here uh, without Ipte. Uh, I mean that's Ipte provides everything: uh, scholarships, uh, academic services, uh, and support facilities. Uh, you know, uh, everything, the band, uh, you name it. I mean, they, 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 everything goes through Ipte. And uh, just an unbelievable organization, uh, incredible, incredibly generous people uh, who, who are members of Ipte. I and mean, it's just amazing. I don't know, maybe we've got 18,000 members of Ipte, and, and there's probably 100 something thousand alumni. Uh, so, you know, that's a. That's a 18,000 people swinging a big stick, and not all of them are graduates. You know, there's people who love Clemson and, and uh, support this program with great generosity. And, but everything, I mean, everything flows through it. Today. It was a, a hot August. It's been a, a hot start to September. Is that helpful in a game that's 3:30? Probably going to be over 100 degrees on the field Saturday. And then, how do you make sure guys are hydrated before they even go out there? Yeah, it's definitely helpful. I mean, you know, it, it, as opposed to being in. Uh, uh, Maine, you know, I assume it's cool in Maine. I don't really know. I've never been to Maine, but I'm assuming it's cooler in Maine. Uh, you know, and then having to like maybe come down here and play, uh, the fact that, that this is just our normal climate, you know, and being able to practice in it certainly helps you to simulate the game environment. Uh, so, so no doubt about it. And these are tough days. I mean, you know, Saturday's going to be a tough day, uh, and our Tuesday, Wednesday practices are, are, are tough. And that's part of you know, really kind of growing our team right now and teaching our team how to practice you know, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, how to strain. You know, again, we got we got 80 freshmen and sophomores, 40 got first year guys uh, that haven't been through a game week, you know, a true game week. So learning how to practice, learning how to strain on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And, uh, you know, Wednesdays is a two minute day. We finish two minute at the end of practice and just kind of like a game, fourth quarter, end of the game. It's been a long game, you're tired. And, and so, uh, you know, I think the heat definitely helps us to simulate, you know, the elements. Uh, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, we just gotta just gotta be ready to, to put it all together on Saturday. Is Kellen Mond a guy who came to camp here back? A he, couple did. Years ago? he did. Okay. He did. What did you? Did, did uh, you he just him? was like a in and out. You know, I mean, he was an impressive guy. A guy we really liked. A guy we offered. Uh, but was, was here like one practice, and uh, so I got to see him throw just a few minutes, and he was gone. So. Uh, but a guy we really like a lot. He's a, he's a he's a great player. Does Chase ever talk about going head to head against him in high school? Uh, no, he hasn't. He hasn't. I didn't. Did they play him? That, uh, they, 20, they 2016, play him? I believe. He's out yeah. in Texas somewhere. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, IMG against yeah. Grayson. Yeah, I don't know. Much of a different player is Isaiah now than he was against Isaiah now a year ago. Simmons? No, yeah. oh, night and day. He's night and day. You know, last year he's a. Uh, you know, first year starter, you know, red shirt sophomore, you know, kind of learning what to do and, and you know, just he just knows so much more. I mean, 
our whole secondary is different than when we were this time last year. I mean, you know, we played the first game against Furman, played the triple option, and then uh, then we go out there and, and played really good for about three and a half quarters, and then we just we just didn't execute well in that fourth quarter. Uh, and, and again, it's one thing for them to make competitive plays, but we we had some guys running wide open uh, where we we bust some things. And, so he's he's just a totally different guy, uh, just a much more knowledgeable, confident, consistent down in and down out player. How much different or better has it been preparing for Texas A&M this year? Just having a full full season of, of game footage with the same coaches and the same players. A lot better, you know, because again you're watching all their tape. You got you got a season, you know, uh, to study, and uh, you know they'll have wrinkles and they'll have they'll have some game plan stuff and. You know, they didn't do anything last week, uh, so we didn't really get much out of that, other than watching personnel and uh, some of their base stuff. But we, we know their base stuff. So they'll have wrinkles, just like we will. That's just part of football, part of game planning. But you at least know what their identity is. You know, they're not going to change their identity. Uh, and uh, so you got, and then again, being able to watch, uh, I guess, they four, 13 games of tape uh, and really watching those kids that, that are back, uh, that helps you. This is helpful for this young team to start out ACC opponent, SEC opponent week two, go on the road to Syracuse week three. That there's no gimmies in there. <laughs> no, no, we got it. We're 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 in a rocket ship, man. I mean, it's no, we're not we're not in a uh, air balloon, slowly <laughs> lifting up here and enjoying the view. I mean, we're better buckle up. You know, here we go. Uh, so, but yeah, it's it's good. I mean, I, I think it's gonna it's gonna make us better. Uh, we're jumping in. We, we've got one conference game on our belt. Now we're getting into division play next week. Uh, so, I mean, this is a, one of the best teams in the country, and there ain't no doubt about that. I mean, I don't. I have no idea. I mean, we're, they got us ranked number one, and I, I mean, who knows? Who knows what we are? Uh, we haven't earned that. That's just what people have nominated us. Uh, so nobody really knows anything about any team right now. But. I think we're one of the better teams in the country, and I think they're one of the better teams in the country. So it's a really good matchup early in the year. Not a lot of room for error. And again, it, it, you can lose these games. I mean, it, you know, it's not like, I mean, this is a hard game. I mean, you don't have, there's a few plays uh, can, can decide this game. And so, but that's okay. It's okay, you know? You, 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 to me, I've always felt that way. You've got a chance to grow and get better when you expose yourself uh, to really, really good competition early in the season. And so that's what we've always done. That's how we built our team. We've won a bunch of them. We've lost a few uh, along the way too, but it makes us better. And whether we win the game, lose the game, this will make our team, this team, better uh, and give us an opportunity to grow, you know, for the rest of the season, for sure. Coach Fisher played uh, quarterback for Terry Bowden back at Sanford. Has, uh, has Terry told you any good Jimbo stories no. back in the day? <laughs> no, no, yet. We've just been working. <laughs> it seems like y'all have sort of become the hub a little bit for these teams on the coast that are dealing with these hurricanes. How did that come together? With oh, Coastal coming yeah, yeah, yeah. in? Uh, you know, they just called Woody. Uh, I don't I, I don't know who reached out to Woody. I assume one, maybe one of their ops guys or something. And uh, So, yeah, I mean, anytime we can help, uh, I mean, we, we, we've got a nice facility. You know, so we're we're fortunate and blessed, and so it's it's great to be able to help. You know, somebody. Um, you know, they're going to be. I think they're at the Embassy Suites there in Greenville for like two weeks. I think they're going to go play Kansas, and then they get, they're leaving part of the team there, and then coming back, and still going to be there until I guess you know everything clears up or whatever. They they can go back, but you know that's tough on them, and, and uh, so we're just you know, glad that we. You know, can help them, and uh, had a chance to. I went out. They were here late last night. I, I went out there about 10 o'clock last night. And they visited with uh, with coach and several of their coaches, and, and uh, you know, uh, they're excited about you know going out to Kansas and taking on the Jayhawks. Given how much time he missed <coughs> with Davis Allen, how remarkable is it that he looks comfortable? Out yeah, there? it's that's impressive. It's impressive because again, y'all heard me say many times that tight end position is one of the hardest ones. And usually, what happens is guys get bogged down with just so much stuff that they play slow and they play tentative and uh, and, and, and not as physical. And he just he mentally is sharp, and so that's a credit to him because you know that. And I always say that, you know, just because you're not repping doesn't mean you can't mentally rep. 
And so he's really worked hard when he wasn't physically getting any work to, to keep up and to study and to learn the system. And so when he was able to start taking the physical reps, he can line up, he can function. And then he's just just a natural football player. You know, he's a very physical kid. He's, 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 he's going to help us. I, mean, I'm, I was as impressed with him as anybody in that game Saturday, or Thursday. Uh, just his, his, the way he moves and, again, the way he covers guys up. He's a naturally physical guy. And he just has a feel for the position. He has a feel for the game. So it's, it's very impressive considering how little work he got and, and the fact that that was really his first scrimmage work. Jalen had the big catch in the seam. Yeah. Did, did he grade pretty well with his blocking then? No, he didn't grade very well. Uh, he, he, not what we need him to. Um, you know, he, he did fine, but we need him to grade better. And it's just little things. Little things. Yeah, nice, nice, nice uh, play on the catch there. But you know, uh, you got <coughs> he's just still learning. You know, but he's doing so much better. I mean, he's one of the most improved guys we got on this team, without question. Uh, but just, but just the the uh, putting it all together, and really not just understand. Okay, this is what I'm doing, but really understand why you why you're doing it that way. That's where he's got to continue to grow. And uh, just little things, little modesties, you know, that he's got to fight for uh, to grade better. His effort was excellent, and, and he had some production, but the performance, the, the winning performance, that's that's what we're we got to get that. We got to get. We got a bunch of guys. I mean, we we were probably only about mm, sixty something percent on offense and defense. You know, winning performances. Uh, you know, but we grade them tough. I mean, our effort was great, and a lot of production was there. You know, but as that margin for error gets smaller, you don't have as much room for error. So our, our winning performances have to go up. Uh, and we don't ask anybody to be perfect. You know, a lot of, a lot of the guys winning performances is 75% at certain positions. You know, quarterback, it's 90, receiver, it's 85. You know, uh, so everybody's got a, a grade. Um, so nobody's going to be perfect. There's room for error there from a performance standpoint. But you know, we just got to have more guys meeting the standard. All right. Thank you, Coach.